Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of um, the end of April going into the first week of May, okay? Now, your first card here, Gemini, is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Second card here is the Knight of Pentacles. Your third card is the Eight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And the Judgment card. Okay. All right, Geminis. Let's see what's going on with your love. Okay, so for some of you Geminis out there, those of you guys that are single, uh, have been dealing with someone, you may be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with a fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Libra. And so you do have here the five of swords. I feel that for some of you guys, um, you've distanced yourself or you stopped communication and pulled away from a relationship that was basically heading nowhere. And through that separation or through that detachment, you could have came in contact with an earth sign, um, again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, that sparked your interest. Now I do have the Eight of Wands here and the Eight of Wands is very, very passionate, very intense. For some of you guys, it could have been um, taking on a new challenge um and for others of you it could just signify uh, almost like uh, being stricken by the arrows of love um with a person that was like the connection was very very strongly highly sexual type of energy now you do have the ace of pentacles here and the ace of pentacles does talk about a new beginning but before doing this new beginning for some of you guys it could have started very quick okay so i'm getting multiple messages for some of you guys, uh, you could have connected with someone and it was quickly rushed into something that was intense and passionate, but then it stalled. So meaning um, it could have been a one night stand, it could have been that type of scenario uh, where you hit it off and you have very quickly take it to the next level, but then you're left waiting. And I know Geminis don't like to wait. Um, you, you were left waiting or you were left wondering what happened with that connection now you do have here again like i said the ace of um the ace of pentacles so this is a new beginning and the reason why it started off rather quickly but then it quickly stopped could signify because this person in itself is not the type of person that is looking for something that is temporary so it's almost like the connection was very very strong that it could have freaked them out and instead of them continuously keeping the communication, they kind of pulled away or backed up a little bit. Um, for others, it could have been that they have a lot of a lot of responsibilities and focus in business or money. Um, but nonetheless, I do see them coming back around and trying to communicate. I feel that your ego probably was hurt here, Gemini, um, if this is connecting with you. I feel that you were left not knowing and it, it was kind of like, it was very annoying for you um i see you very annoyed and i think that it's connected to your ego so perhaps you're used to people pursuing you or people trying to prove to you and in this situation i feel that this person is waiting for you to step up or for you to prove yourself to them gemini now i do, i do see the judgment card so again like i said i do see that there is going to be a union or almost bumping into each other at a it could have been a social it could be a social outing or a gathering where the connection is almost like it never like you never stop talking the connection is going to be there and again you both are going to be feeling that connection very strongly um word of advice gemini i feel that this person is very methodical in how they approach relationships so my suggestion to you is again don't don't feel like you're ever 
don't ever feel like you're too good for everyone and you expect others to chase you because you will bump into someone that could have your same could have your same um confidence and it will irritate you but it will make you chase them so whether you refuse to try to get their attention again or not you will be placed in the same situation where you're going to bump into each other and the connection is going to be again like i said off the charts um but you know don't don't expect them to be the one to step up what they're what the cards are telling you is it's it you need to step up you need to prove yourself because they themselves feel like they have more to lose should they allow you to hurt them basically uh so that that's that's the overall now for others of you guys that have been again like i said in a relationship in a long-term committed relationship I feel that you guys are still lingering on to the past. Um, I do see a person returning from the past. Uh, it could be an air sign um, like you, Gemini. So it could be a Libra or an Aquarius. And I do feel that they're coming back. But the reason why they're coming back is because they see you much stronger. They see you much resilient. And their expectations of the new beginning they chased after or they went after didn't pan out how they expected so now they're wanting to return and for you to give them that opportunity. Um, now, those of you guys that are in a committed relationship or are currently married, I feel that um, income is something that is currently making you guys struggle. Um, okay, so what they're saying is for those of you guys that are married, um, I feel that pride is in the way when it comes to communication between you and your partner. And it could be because perhaps you kind of set them up for a certain type of lifestyle, a certain type of um, income. And I feel that the, the moment it gets difficult or the moment you guys start to struggle, they start to either think that perhaps it's best to walk away, but it's not because of anything other than they fear not having enough. So what I'm saying is not that they are, you know, gold diggers or whatnot, not at all but pay very close attention to their actions because if they can't hold you down when you're going through difficulties and struggle, then you should not hold them down when you're doing abundantly and when you're rising, okay? Don't make the same mistakes that you've made in the past by overdoing when it comes to long-term or commitments. Um, almost like, you know, if you've messed up in the past, Gemini, and your partner continuously keeps throwing that in your face and you continuously keep trying to prove yourself, what they're telling you is you need to value yourself. Value yourself enough to know what it is that you deserve. Yes, you messed up in the past. We all do. But if you've proven yourself and you've proven yourself worthy, you don't have to continuously keep doing that. You don't have to continuously keep proving yourself. If they're going to keep hanging that, you know, in your head because of what you did in the past, then obviously they can't get past that. And if they can't get past that, then this relationship will eventually crumble. Okay, so I hope you guys take the messages for what they are and we will see each other soon. Bye.